On this night, Jupiter was closest to Earth like never before in my life. That's why I thought of capturing it with a budget setup like this. Last year when I captured Jupiter, I was so happy to resolve most of the features on the planet including the great red spot and the tiny eclipse. But this year it's gonna be very very bright and I'm not sure if my smartphone can handle that much brightness. So let's see what happens. And this is what happened. Clouds all over the night and the evening skies. What a disappointment. But finally it got cleared. Now I have pointed my telescope towards Jupiter and I can see it's very very bright. The airplane is coming. So my telescope has the focal length of 900 millimeters and I will be using this K25mm eyepiece to view the Jupiter with its four bright moons. So this eyepiece will give me around 36 times magnification. So let's try this. Oh look at that. It's beautiful. I can see Jupiter with its four brightest moons. Oh there are three. Where is the other one? It seems it's hiding behind the Jupiter. It's beautiful. I have been waiting for this for so long time. And you can see Jupiter is moving. That's because Earth is rotating on its axis. So Jupiter is moving from east to west. And at this magnification you can feel the rotation of Earth. That's beautiful. Now let me change the eyepiece so that the features on the planet will be resolved. Let me realign the telescope. Oh look at that. It's very very bright and you can see the cloud bands on the Jupiter very dull because it's so bright. It's beautiful. I can see the moons. That's beautiful. Now let's try to capture this with my smartphone. I am using the same eyepiece that is K4mm and let me find it in field of view. My mount is behaving stupid. Oh yes. I will take 12 second video so that I can later process it in PIPP software. That's a free processing software. You can download it from the internet. 12 seconds. Let me realign it to get a good stable video. This mount is behaving stupid. Just, just be in the field of view. Again. Yes. That's epic. Three seconds, four seconds, five, six, seven, eight, nine seconds, ten, and twelve. And this is what I captured. Oh, wait. What is that? It looks like a water bubble wobbling on the Jupiter. Let me zoom in for you. This is that wobbly water bubble on the Jupiter. For your information, my eyepiece looks great and it's clean. But the fact is it's wobbling with the Jupiter. That means it is on the Jupiter. For a second, I thought it was an asteroid impact on the Jupiter. But if that was the case, NASA would have rewarded me. But my friend Stellarium told it was just the moon of Jupiter. Well, that's the most special thing I have ever noted on the Jupiter first time in my life. Wherein the shadow of the moon is being eclipsed by the Jupiter's moon itself. And that is what indicates the Jupiter is at opposition. Which means the Sun, Earth and the Jupiter is in line. So let me compare last year's Jupiter and this year's Jupiter. And I am sure you will be amazed to see it. 
just look at that i used the same telescope same eyepiece same settings on my phone it was at same altitude almost at the same sky conditions and just look at that look at the difference well hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching subscribe to this channel and clear skies